How you doing? My name is Carlos Ramirez, owner of NVS Audio in Roselle, New Jersey, and welcome to Tool Time Tuesday. Today, finally want to talk about my ZenBot CNC. Finally got it up and running. Thanks to Charles over at First Coast Auto Creations. Um, he, he spent an hour or two on the phone with me getting uh, some kinks worked out, some stuff I was doing wrong. Uh, machine's running really, really good. I'm getting used to the software. Um, this is just entry, entry, entry level. I'm going to show you guys the basics. There's a lot of guys out there that are running CNC's and doing amazing stuff. This is just basic. We're going to be using it for basic stuff until we, just like the laser, until we get the hang of it. We're going to be using it to cut circles. I'm primarily going to be using it to cut um, MDF rings, uh, acrylic rings, because everybody knows that rough cutting acrylic sucks. So if you can have the machine do the work for you, it's less waste, less time. You program the machine in, you glue your material down, and let the machine do its thing, and let it cut 8, 10, 12 rings, something that I would hate to do by hand. Uh, same thing with aluminum. So we got everything dialed in. I'm still getting used to the software. We run Mach 3 software for the controller of the machine, and we run VCarb Pro for um, the designing and setting up the tool paths. Um, learning the laser was way, 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 way easier. Um, programming the machine to cut and then the speed and the jog and it's it's a lot uh, it's taken me this long to get it up and running we've had the machine for just under a year because we are super 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 slammed at the shop we have 11 Harleys in here right now we have six or seven big custom projects but uh, hopefully I'll get the hang of the CNC right away and it'll help us push out all this custom work I have a ton of ideas in my head of what I want to use it for and what it's going to help me with. Hopefully it works out the way that I think it's going to work out. I was cutting a few test pieces while I got used to the machine. Uh, and as you can see, we have some jitter marks. So this is all, this is where I started, this is where it ended. So it's a lot better at the end. So. You have to know your material. It's just like learning to use the router. You have to know how slowly to feed the bit in, what speed to have the router spinning at. Um, it's just a ton of stuff. And then once you get it all figured out and then you change material, change the th uh, thickness, you have to learn it all over again. So um, it's quite an experience. I'm gonna show you some basic stuff. I'm gonna show you the machine running and then uh, hopefully this helps somebody out. I'll probably post a video maybe once a month because I plan on using the machine a lot and it'll force me to learn it faster. That way it can help you guys out. But uh, thank you, Charles, for all your help. Show you guys the basic in and outs of the machine and how it runs and how we're going to use it for 12 volt. Okay, this is a Mach 3 software. Uh, I have the G code loaded up. That's what the machine calls whatever the file it gets from. Um, vcarve pro now first problem i'm having and i'm going to leave it this way for now is the machine thinks that this is the corner and it believes that that's all the way at the edge and it's in on the wrong side so the machine's over there which on the picture would be over here but in the picture the table's flipped around and i don't know how to get rid of this gap yet so whatever i have my piece loaded over there I ran some test cuts so I know it's gonna cut in the right place. But as I learn to use the software better, it'll fix that. This button right here is your friend. Resets the machine back into its corner so it knows where to start from. And zeroes out all the numbers here. Okay, see the Z and Y axis zeroed out. Now we can go ahead. Go ahead, load the G code. It's loaded.
nice clean cut. Yay, we made a circle. So see, it's actually the first piece I've cut completely. Nice clean cut. There's a piece came out of. Took about a minute. So nothing crazy and exciting, but as I learned to machine use the machine more, I'll post. Um, I just got to get used to the material thickness, the feed speeds, but it's definitely going to be my new favorite toy in the shop as long as it behaves and it's friendly to me, hasn't been too friendly in the putting together process. Uh, something that I noticed, and it's no fault of the machines, probably are crooked, uneven floors in the shop, is that it cuts deeper at the beginning of the material than it does towards the end. So I'm probably going to have to shim these pieces a little bit it's off by maybe a 16th or 30 seconds of an inch but um it's literally my second or third hour cutting with the machine so uh once i get it dialed in and figured out i'm really happy i made the purchase i'm happy with the quality sean over at zenbot does a really good job and um it's really an affordable piece where if it lasts as long as i hope that it lasts it'll pay for itself by the end of the year um, so hopefully I've built some cool stuff on it and I'll keep you guys posted. See you next week.